my grand brethren. So, um, I really wanted to do this outside, but it is blazing hip hop and R&B out there. We ain't doing that. We're not trying to die today. So, hi. Welcome to TingsNice.com. I am coming to you with another vlog post. Of course, it's always carnival related because I love carnival and I hope that you do too. Soka is life. So today I bring to you the topic of Juve and trying to give you everything that you need to know so that you can be successful at your, your next Juve or your first Juve. So shout out to Freckles Marie for requesting a blog on this topic. I do appreciate you, thank you for following me and I hope that I give you all the information that you need. Before we get started, I do have some articles that I wrote prior. Um, there's the three ways to style Juve tees, and then I have the frequently asked questions um, article that I posted uh, probably about a year and some change ago. So make sure that you check those articles out. I'll leave the links below for those as well. I don't know why Juve is so amazing. Um, it's just something about them. I don't think that I've attended any Juve that has been like truly, truly horrible. Um, I think people, for the most part, come out ready to fet, ready to have a great time, and it is definitely a unique and one-of-a-kind experience. So if you're not familiar with Juve, Juve is basically a parade that takes place at the crack of dawn, um, depending on you know where you are, which island you're in, which state you're in, it could start at different times, but in real carnival, tradition it's crack of dawn right so it could be starting anywhere from midnight all the way through until the sun comes up and it's just a dirty event so there's powder there's mud there could be chocolate there could be oil if you go Grenada job job best you may ever all types of elements that you will be saturated in just like being on the road you will follow a truck and just kind of jump up and have a great time but there are also juve style parties you may not be following a truck you could just be in one central location at a venue with DJs and just having having a time what do you wear? What are you supposed to wear to Juve? Juve is a great place to wear clothes that you don't care about anymore. I personally don't believe that Juve is a time where you need to be purchasing anything, but if you feel like doing that, go forth to each his own. Juve is it's a time for you to get silly. It's gonna be a, a, an opportunity for you to wear something outrageous. Nobody is going to judge you on that day. They will laugh at you, but they're not going to judge you because it's just a fun, time where you are just there acting the fool and getting dusty. So as far as footwear is concerned for Juve, sometimes I have a difficult time designating a pair of shoes to wear, but there's normally like a pair of boots that I have that have begun to talk and would not be appropriate for me to wear to work or whatever. So I'm like, okay, you know what? These are my next Juve shoes. But normally you're given a shirt, you're giving a bag, you're given um, a clear pouch sometimes to hold your cell phone. The band, the promoters, whoever you're jumping with should also provide you with a mug or some type of cup, preferably with a lid and a straw. The thing that irks me the most is when you're doing a Juve event and they give you this cup and it has no top. So you want me to be drinking paint all day? I see, got it. Don't do that. Don't be that promoter. Um, eye protection. So normally when I go to any Juve or Juve style parties, I like to cover my eyes and wear glasses. My issue with regular glasses is that the paint can still go through, but the glasses do, do work well. I have some goggles in my design lab that I kind of use sometimes to designate for Juve. The only downfall to the goggles is that they can be a little suffocating. You will have to like take them on and off a, a couple of times just to kind of get some air. But goggles are a good, they're a good look because the paint, if somebody splashes paint in your face or down your face, it's not going to go inside. A waterproof phone case. There is one that I use that fully encases the phone because I still, clearly for blogging purposes, for you, I like to take pictures mid-fet. The waterproof cases that they provide don't always allow for the best pictures, especially if they're not clear. Ziploc bags are essential. Promoters might give you some type of cinch 
backpacks, which is great. However, if you just put your valuables in there and you're going through the elements at the end of the fet or at the end of Juve, it's still gonna be soaked. What I do is I get a big gallon um, Ziploc bag, put it inside the cinch bag and then put my, my valuables inside the Ziploc bag. So then at the end of the day, when I go home, the items are not going to be destroyed and wet. Hair protection, ladies, gentlemen, protect your hair. Um, I normally cover my hair like this. I usually put a head wrap on, but underneath my head wrap, I'll put like a plastic bag, a shower cap or something to protect it from actually uh, seeping through because this is not clearly, it's not waterproof. You can put it backwards and then put a hat on top of that if you wanna have extra coverage or you just wanna wear a hat. But I do know a number of people who just go, this is it, my hair is out, it's getting messy, boop, 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 I'm just gonna wash it when I go home. That works too. Or you wear wigs. I worn a wig um, <laughs> before, and they're like, "What do you do?" I'm like, "This is not. This is not to stay. I'm not a fan." Um, but this is just for juve, and you bring it out, and you be silly. I've worn purple wigs. I've worn regular, long, crazy wigs. Um, but you know, it's fun. It is. It's just. It's just a fun option. Skin care. Before you go to juve, what should you do? And this really, it's very, very simple. Um, you can um, oil your body down with baby oil or Vaseline. If you're in Grenada, please use some lard or something. And I mean lard, like out the kitchen, like out the baking aisle. Manteca, mantica, however you pronounce it, lard. Like the real stuff, that just slather that sucker on because the oil in Grenada is no joke. So just slather your body up, Vaseline, whatever. I am not a big fan of um, baby oil because it literally just seeps in my skin, but everything else, Vaseline, Alard, works just fine. So skincare after Juve. My essentials are scrub gloves, but the gloves do half the work for you. So I like to have my gloves, I like to have some type of um, soap that has micro beads in it and you can just kind of use the soap and put on your body and the beads will do the work for you. Q-tips, um, there are often times where you'll, you think you've done a great job and you're like, good, there's no paint on me or whatever, and then you go and you're like randomly, you know, playing with your ear and you're like, oh, I didn't get that. Oops. So <laughs> make sure you go in your ear with uh, some Q-tips. I guarantee there's gonna be some paint in there because people, they have no self-control when it, everybody thinks paint and they just get all crazy. I've had people pour freaking paint down my butt crack or down the crease of my booze. I'm just like, really? You, you, are you are you done? Are you done? So like if you're in a hotel or something, just make sure that you try to rinse off as much as possible before going in the hotel because they will charge you uh, for um, messing up their their linens. Um, but sometimes, if you, especially if you are away, if you are um, like Jamaica Carnival, Trinidad, like the hotels are ready. They're usually prepared for those type of things, and they'll have some type of setup outside that will allow you to wash off before you go in your hotel room because they don't want you to mess up their things. If you're driving the car especially if it's a rental or if it's your own car and that's your baby like you need to take care of your vehicle and prepare it accordingly i like to have like a clean pair of footwear in the car for my return because normally my feet are like done or the boots have like so much stuff on them it's like i don't want to drive like this old towels are great to cover the seat with but what i prefer is to have like those extra large garbage bags take those you can put them over the seat or you can cut them up and kind of make them longer depending on how many people are driving with you just protect every area of your car because air freshener is also great so even like Lysol spray just kind of get all those germs out there and then so that the next time that you go in the car it's not smelling crazy because I went to Lions Pride Juve last week or two weeks ago whenever it was the car still smells a little crazy so some Lysol in there should be all right. Your clothes after Juve, I will either throw them away or I will recycle them. I have a designated pair <laughs> of Juve shorts. Shout out to Kong Apparel. I have a Juve sports bra. So if you see me like Uber Soka Cruise, I think I wore the same outfit both years. But if you're interested in keeping them 
what I normally do is I take those clothes off immediately, put them in a bucket, soak them in a detergent, let them dry, and then I put them in uh, with the regular clothes when I go to do my laundry the real way. I think that's all. If there's anything that I think of between now and when I actually post this, it's going to be in the full article on my website that will have like a written instructions. I'll probably make like this cute little template of, you know, how to prepare for juve or something like that. Um, but thank you for tuning in once again. I appreciate you. If you have any article requests, anything that you would like me to vlog about or write about, there is a place on my website right over there where you can put your information in and put what you want me to write about. You can also hit me up in my Instagram DMs and I will do my best to deliver. And there's always a Tings and Nice blog post around the corner. I appreciate you. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.